Whoa, it's quite a sight, isn't it? Behind me, I have nine of the world's leading red light therapy tabletop panels. As you can see, these are all rather different sizes. Uh, if you've seen my videos before, you may have seen me do a lot of reviews and comparisons of the larger wall hanging body panel red light therapy panels. In this video, and in fact in this series, I'm going to be doing a bunch of videos looking at these smaller tabletop panels. Now typically these are around 60 LEDs though, we do have some larger ones that go up to 133 LEDs. Now in this first video, I'm going to be doing a bit of an introduction, just explaining a bit about each panel. Uh, and then I'm also going to focus on value and helping you, if you're on a budget, helping you find the best panel for your budget, but also your needs. I should mention, I have reviewed all of these panels individually. So if you do want to check out any of them at any time, I take a deep dive looking at each of them. Uh, I'll put links to them below so you can check that out. Finally, if you do want to purchase any of these panels, I'll put a link direct to the product page below, but be sure to use discount code Alex, A-L-E-X. That will save you a little bit of money and help me continue to put out videos like this. So, like I said, we're going to run through all of these nine panels. I'm not going to get too caught up in, in prices and specs and features and whatnot. We're going to start from my left, work our way around. So first up, we have the Luminos Red Model 1 Pro. Quite a unique design. We've got the brain, as they call it, on the top. You can disconnect that. It's, it's quite an interesting uh, arrangement that these guys use with their panels. Uh, there's 60 LEDs in here with dual chip. Quite a unique panel over here. Next to that, we have the Huga Pro 300. Now, this was actually the very first tabletop panel I tested. Quite a popular device, and I think it's going to perform well in this uh, particular video where we look at price and performance. It's also got 60 LEDs, and it's also dual chip as well, so pretty cool. Next up, we have the Red Rush 400 Pulsed. Now this is a pulse panel, so you can select between 10, 20, and 40 hertz, which is pretty neat. It's obviously a lot larger. It's, in fact, it's the largest panel that I have here behind me. Uh, 133 LEDs uh, and a neat stand that you can see as well behind it that you can do a lot of things with. So I'm sure we're going to see more of this panel in the next few videos. Then we have the Juve Mini 3.0. Now this is the most expensive panel out of this whole lineup. In fact, it was over $1,000. That's excluding shipping and, and taxes. So I don't think we're gonna see much of this in today's low budget value video. If you forget about the price, it does have some neat bells and whistles. So I'm sure we'll see it later on. When we come into the middle here, we see the Dermabeam Pro. This is a new company. Uh, I also tested their mask. It's quite a simple panel, built-in flick stand, but it does come in at a reasonably good price. I'm not expecting great things from this panel, just given the specs, lack of warranty and whatnot. It only has a one-year warranty. A lot of these panels have two or even three-year warranties. Even though it is quite basic on the features front, it does come in at a really good price. Then we have the Mito Red Mito Pro 300. Now, if you watched my body panel comparison, the Mito Red Pro 1500, the bigger brother of this, actually came out number one. So I am expecting this panel to do rather well in the next few videos. It is a well-priced panel and it also packs plenty of power. Next to the Mito Pro, we have, let's say, one of its biggest rivals, and that is Platinum LED with the Biomax 300. Now, this is the second largest panel I'm looking at today with 120 LEDs. Most of the panels through the middle line up there were all around 60 LEDs. This is the brand new third gen Biomax panel. It does include the blue light LEDs, which is kind of unique, and it does have the touchscreen control panel, which is quite nice. Good power as well coming from this. In here, we have the Infraredi Flex Mini. Now, this is a brand new product from Infraredi. Uh, I just finished reviewing it not long ago. It is quite a neat product. I also reviewed the larger wall, wall hanging one. Uh, it's a good size, a good price, good overall performance, and it also has pulsing right through from zero hertz up to 10,000, which is I think that's unique to all of these panels on here. And finally over here, we have a newcomer to the scene. This is from Rojo Therapy Lights. Uh, this is the Rojo 300. It's a very square looking panel. It's actually an Australian based company. So for those of you who are in Australia or New Zealand, you'll be quite keen to learn a bit more about this. Okay, so now that you know what we're working with, I wanna find the best panel for those on a tight budget. Now, this is a tricky one because I don't wanna simply find the cheapest panel out there. I also wanna look at things like warranty, ease of use, operation, how much power it puts out, uh, all those other things. But I guess there's more of a weighting going on the price side of things. I should mention that this time around, I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. I figured it's too hard to come up with an overall best 
tabletop panel here. Why? Well, there's too many variables at play. Some people want a larger panel, some people don't. Some people want the stand, some people don't. Some people want something that's really light and portable and they can move it around the room. Others just want to set it up and leave it. When it comes to the wall hanging body panels, most people are coming in looking for the, for the same thing, right? They want a big panel, as much surface area as possible, good price, good power, good performance. But with tabletop panels, as I just mentioned, everyone seems to be a little bit different. All right, so what I'm gonna do here, we're gonna get the top four panels, and the way I'm gonna do that is anything under $500 remains. Anything over $500 is out. It's gonna be a simple way to sort of condense it down. We've got nine panels here, let's take a closer look at four, all right? The four panels that remain, because they come in under $500, and that's after using discount code Alex, is the Dermabeam 300, the Huga Pro 300, the Mito Pro 300, and the Rojo 300. All right, here we have our top four panels for those on a tight budget. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna run through each four of these, and then from the four, we're gonna narrow it down and try to find the best, the overall winner. So. Let's get started. We have the Rojo 300. Now this actually sells in Australian dollars because it's a company based in Australia. I did the math and I converted the Australian figure to American dollars. It worked out to be $465. Now these guys have given me a discount code, it is Alex. Uh, that will bring the price down to 440 US dollars, which is pretty good. Comes in under that $500 um, cutoff point we were talking about earlier. A bit about this panel, you've got a three year warranty. It does have four different wavelengths in there. You've got your 630 nanometers, your 660, your 830 and your 850. So it's, it's evenly split between them. I do like that. Quite a neat control panel. I haven't seen this control panel screen before, so that was kind of cool as well and you've also got pulsing in there you can pulse from 0 through to 20 hertz so not the full uh, spectrum that we've seen in some other panels I do like the size it will be perfect for face treatment it does come included with the stand and also has a three-year warranty now what we're doing is focusing on price here right so even though this does come in at a good price I do need to mention the shipping they ship to Australian and New Zealand addresses for free probably thinking okay well that's cool but how much is it going to cost to get to my door if I live in the states for instance and that's a good question at the time of filming they don't have set shipping rates for international customers they told me they will be shipping internationally you just have to reach out and email them and get a shipping quote so all of a sudden that $440 maybe up to $540 next we have the Mito Red Mito Pro 3 300. Now this is a 60 LED panel, the same as the Rojo. It comes in the same wavelength split as the Rojo, so you've got equal split between 630, 660, 830 and 850 nanometer light, so very similar. But as you can see, 60 LEDs, it's a lot wider, the LEDs are spaced further apart. Uh, what's interesting is the power between the two is quite similar, though the total wattage, this was ever so slightly higher than the Rojo. Now this retails for $350. Discount code Alex brings it down to 332 US dollars. Big difference compared to the 440 over here. Shipping, this is where it gets really good. If you're in the States, there's free shipping with your Mito Red Mito Pro. If you're in Australia or somewhere else in the world, you're gonna pay about $80. 330 odd dollars for a well-powered panel from a good company. I think we'll be coming back to this soon. So this is the Dermabeam Pro 300. Now this retails for $499 but they gave me a 10% discount code to share with you guys, so that brings it down to $450. So that puts it on a similar price point to the Rojo 300. However, the big difference is shipping. Free shipping for those in America, $50 shipping to get this to your door if you're in Aussie. You're gonna spend about 500 bucks if you're in Aussie or, or somewhere else in the world. Uh, if you're in America, yeah, 450, not too bad. Now this also has 60 LEDs. Again, it's a different shape, different size, uh, but they only use 660 and 850 nanometer light. Your, your traditional wavelengths, I'd guess. Uh, and the power, looking at the power numbers real quick, it's a little bit lower compared to these two panels behind me that I just looked at. Finally, we have the Huga Pro 300. Now, again, this is also 60 LEDs, but they're dual chip and they only use 660 and 850 nanometer light. Again, your traditional sort of wavelengths. What's crazy here is the price. Their price is 269 US dollars, incredible. And you know what, it even gets better. It gets better because they've given me a discount code, Alex, A-L-E-X, it will save you 5% and bring it down to $242. And there's free shipping in the States, and if you wanna ship it internationally, you're looking at anything from about, about $70 to $120. But 
even if you factor in shipping, if you're in Australia, let's say it costs $120 to get it to your door, you add on the $240, that's $360 US dollars. That's still cheaper than the Rojo panel shipped to your door for Australian customers. Exceptional price here. Power is actually pretty good. It's on par with the first two panels I looked at. It does come with a two year warranty. I should mention this is a reasonably newer company, but I think when I first did the review, you know, I may be saying, look, they are new, but that was a good six, eight months ago. I've only heard good, heard good things since. They keep bringing out more panels. So uh, I think we're all good on that front. Okay, so we've got four behind me. What I wanna do now is simplify it even further or condense it even further. Now, before I do that, I just need to talk about stands. All of these panels come with stands included, all right? So that doesn't really change anything on the price and value point of view. So what I wanna do now is I wanna take these four and get it down to two. Now, two of them, are over $400. That's the Rojo 300 and the Duma Bean 300. So we're gonna get rid of them and then settle on two. Okay, we're left with two. The Mito Red Pro 300 and the Huga 300 Pro. Okay, so what I wanna do now is I'm gonna do a head-to-head -head between these two panels. Remember, we're, we're focusing on value and price here, so we're gonna keep that in mind, but we are gonna look at things such as uh, warranty and power and what other features they have. So just to remind you, there's a $90 price difference the Mito Red Mito Pro, $332. The Huga Pro, $300, $242. Both have free shipping if you're in the States and both cost about $80 to ship internationally. So it really comes down to this. Are you better off spending $90 more and getting the Mito Red Mito Pro or should you save that $90 and get the Huga? Okay, let's do a quick heads to head. First things first, they're both similar size and they come with similar stands. They're both 60 LEDs as well. Weight wise, there's a, only a pound difference between them with the Mito Red being ever so slightly larger. Sound wise, very similar sounding as well. EMF, not too bad. Uh, both panels are putting out good EMF numbers. Warranty, we finally have a difference. Mito Red has a three year warranty. The Huga, two year warranty. LEDs, they're both 60 LEDs. The Huga dual chip with 660 and 850. The Mito Red Mito Pro, you get those alternative wavelengths. You get the 630, you get the uh, 830, plus your 850 and your 660. That, the wavelength aspect, is quite a big thing. You're paying extra for more wavelengths, which, which I do think is a good uh, benefit and a good selling point. When it comes to the differences in power, there's really not too much between them. Uh, when I look at the raw numbers, the Mito Pro is slightly up. When I look at overall wattages, the Huga is doing uh, slightly better there. So it's very tight, isn't it? But there is also one other thing I want to compare, and this is the control panel. The Mito Red Mito Pro is better when it comes to operation. It has a couple of buttons on the side and a built-in timer. It's quite a simple setup, but it works well. You can alternate between red and the infrared. You can set the timer. When, when the timer ends, the panel turns off. The Huga Pro, very, very simple. This is going back to first gen red light therapy products. You simply have two power switches, one for your red and one for your near infrared. There's no timer. There's no little screen, nothing like that. You just turn them on and away you go. Okay, I think I've done enough of a comparison now. However, I still don't know if I can give an overall winner for this particular category because it really does come down to you. I wanna say it like this. Now, if you're on a really tight budget, like no matter what, you just have to save money and get the cheapest one possible, then go with the Huga, all right? It's good power, it's a good size, comes with the stand, and at $242 shipped to your door in the States, I mean, it's hard to beat. If you've got a little bit of flexibility with your budget and you can squeak out that extra $90, then maybe go up to the Mito Red. And here's why. You're getting an extra year long warranty. You're buying from a company that knows this stuff. They've produced some exceptional panels, but you're also getting a nicer control panel with that built-in timer. And I'll tell you now, I haven't used red light therapy panels for years. Having that timer is a neat function, but even better than that, you're getting four wavelengths. Over here, you're only getting two. And I'm not taking that away from Hugo. I'm sure they're doing exceptionally well as well, but yeah, Mito Red probably a little bit more of a prestigious company when it comes to red light therapy. So there we have it. That is my conclusion in the first video of my red light therapy tabletop video series. Now, I hope you can agree with me that these two panels fit that bill rather well, and it is tricky to determine which one is better out of the two because of that $90 price difference. If they were neck and neck price wise, then of course the Mito Red would be the better panel. What do you think? If you watch this and you're looking for the best panel for your budget, what panel are you gonna go with? I'm keen to hear your thoughts. Remember, be sure to use discount code Alex, it will save you a little bit of cash. Uh, and I do appreciate all the help, all the support, and all the comments. 
Be sure to hit subscribe. I'll be doing another one of these. In the next video, we're going to be finding the best red light therapy panel for beauty users. So be sure to subscribe for that. All right, guys, I'll see you later.